You are watching Excess LaPorte County, Channel 97. Coming up next, the April 14th meeting of the Michigan City Sustainability Commission. You can find information for this meeting by visiting www.accesslaportcounty.org. Okay, I'm calling to order the Michigan City Commission on Sustainability. Um, it's Thursday, April 14th, 2022, and we are starting at 5.50 p.m. because we were locked out of our room. So I apologize to everybody here who was definitely on time, and I apologize to um, our community, too, that may be watching this. So um, could we have a roll call? Oh, Laura's not here. Yeah, just okay. use this. Yep. Just check them off. Uh, Nancy Moldenauer? Here. Uh, Laura Henderson? Not here. Daisy Lee? Here. Faye Moore? Here. Phil Kohler? Tim Bauer? Here. Tristan Bovert? Angie Reynolds? Here. Bailey Chavis? Uh, Latanya Troutman? Here. And um, our new commissioner, Mary Kate Neary? Here. All right. All right. Okay. I did hear oh, from Brian Dabney. Brian, I heard from him. He's excused. Philip is excused. Laura is excused. And who else is not here? Uh, Tristan. I don't know about him, but those three are excused. Okay. okay. I'll just write who was out. Okay. Okay, great. Okay, thank you so much, mm -hmm. Andy, for doing that. Okay, so um, we are going to approve our March 10th, 2022 minutes. Will somebody make a motion to approve those, please? I motion to approve the minutes from March 10th, 2022. Thank you. Who will second that? I second this motion. Tim, thank you for seconding that. All in favor, please raise your right hand and say aye. 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 Okay, they pass unanimously. Thank you. Okay, moving right along. Um, solar options for city government. Um, I did send the email to the Michigan City Planning and Inspection Department for assistance in identifying what department owns, owns which properties that we are interested in um, installing solar panels on. Right now we have solar panels on four um, city properties and eventually we would like to um, see those on all of the city properties um, with the understanding of not only saving the city money but also we'd be lowering our greenhouse gas emissions by doing that okay okay next um, let me see we're gonna skip the um, funeral homes and crematoriums with a plant tree opportunity um, because Bailey's not here today. Uh, biking, hiking, and walking culture, we're gonna skip that also. Um, we're not gonna be holding that when we thought we were the first Friday in May. Um, I'll be making an announcement about another environmental event that's happening here in Michigan City that's coming from Indianapolis, and it's gonna be held at the, at the um, Lebesnik Center for the Arts. Okay, um, we have never adopted a carbon footprint reduction goal for Michigan City. Um, I know a number of the communities went through a very long process of working with high school students, having them work up presentations, go before the um, city council, and I know Daisy you tried that and it was just like a monstrous thing trying to pull together all of the pieces with having a curriculum to teach. Um, we're different from the other communities communities in that we already have a sustainability commission so we're working already on a lot of um, carbon foot reduction projects okay so I don't think we need to go backwards because we're so far ahead right now okay so um, a lot of the communities around us have adopted um, a reduction of 50 percent by the year 2030 so I wanted to talk about that um, other communities have done 30 percent by 2050 but with the Nipsco coal burning power plant closing within the next two years, we're not going to have any issue as far as meeting that goal. And it has nothing to do with what we're doing, okay? We, we've been blessed that they're shutting it down and all of those toxins and pollution is not going to be affecting our community anymore, especially the people who live on the west side of Michigan City. So I wanted to talk about 
about it, you know, um, 50% by 2030. Does it sound reasonable? Is it something that we can make a commitment to? Um, I have a question. Yes. Um, so it, would this be 50% um, uh, like from today's date? to 2030 or just retrospect from when the commission actually started? It would be from when our um, carbon gas emissions inventory was completed by our extern from Indiana University. Okay, so when AJ did that, um, that actually was um, completed in July of 2019. So all of the things we've been doing since we formed as a commission in March 19th, 2019, everything would count. Okay, that's a very good question, Nikki. Discussion? Thoughts? So I kind of agree with you, Nancy. It seems like we are already headed there, and I think 50% by 2030, we could definitely achieve that. Because yeah. we, we've already started with just with the solar panels, with the carbon neutral uh, projects, catching people doing green, right. all of that, um, you know, counts. So I think we could do 50% in Michigan City by 2030. Yeah, I'm confident, especially when you look at the um, pollution that's coming from the biggest industry that we have here, you know, in our community. I have, I have another question. Is there other, I know this was based on, like you said, other cities and what they're sort of doing. So is this 50% like the highest number or like this is more like the average number or how is that's the highest I've seen, okay? Now that's not to say there may be communities elsewhere. I was sort of keeping an eye on those numbers here in Indiana is what I was doing. And I was following along with, you know, what the, um, what the students were doing. And um, it seemed to be pretty consistently either the 50% by 2030 or 30% 30 by 2050. Um, and then one last question. Um, is there what concerns, if any, does the commission foresee as being like the bigger concern that would need um, attention in the reduction? It would be the city fleet. That's the next okay. biggest thing. Right. Um, that would be our um, public blood our public, public transit. transit, our public transit, and then the only department so far that has um, switched to a green alternative fuel is the sanitary district, and they've converted a number of their vehicles to propane gas. So um, they've taken the lead as far as city departments go, but you know we're looking at um, city transit, we're looking at the garbage trucks, we're looking at um, you know all of the departments that are using um, trucks or vans or you know trucks especially because they're burning diesel fuel mm -hmm. is what they're doing, and by making this conversion again, not only are we reducing our greenhouse gas um, emissions and our carbon footprint, but we're also also saving the city significant funds. Okay, so the cost of fuel will be cut back um, tremendously. So those are monies that can be appropriated, you know, to other projects and programs um, for for the residents of our community. Actually. Okay. Um, so with that being said, I, I do agree with you, Nancy, that I do think because of the um, closure of the NIPSCO that we, it's definitely possible, but I like a little stretch and a little. So I'm thinking, would 60% be too much? Oh. You're talking 2030, that's so, this is only 22. So that's know, eight years. Yeah, and I think we've come so far already, so I think the little, I just like to be set apart. I think Michigan City is, is, is a lonely lane in that, because we do have the advantage of starting with a commission, a sustainability commission, unlike other areas around us that the 60% will still be doable and because so many of us are already active in you know taking charge in this um, initiative I think the 60% would be unprecedented <laughs> <laughs> okay so what do the rest of you think um, this this is a you know this is a decision that all of us commissioners are making together do you have a rough estimate about how much of that 50% would be taken care of with NIPSCO? 
I, I don't, okay, because I don't have that original paperwork. It's somewhere here in City Hall mm -hmm. knocking around because it was left in the controller's office and the controller at the time is no longer with us, so that's one thing that we're, de we're definitely going to have to track down. Are you okay? talking about the original report? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, I, I, you know, I can go either way. Um, we've been known to push things because we went from bronze to silver, you know, <laughs> for our soul smart designation. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, um, I think it depends on what you want to do, really, you know. <coughs> Stick with 50 or do we want to stretch ourselves? It's, you One know, and, and we don't spots. have to. We don't, we don't have to, okay? We don't have to. The well, one spot that we, um, I remember from the report was, you know, garbage and recycling, and Daisy's tackled a lot of that too, with all the recycling, not just Daisy, but of course, you've done a lot with garbology, and got all the recycling bins at the park, so I, I mean, I yeah, can't say for certain, but like, I would imagine that's got to have offset it some. Yeah, and then also you have the program with the small businesses. They get the you know the portable recycling setup thing, so it's it's really up to you you know and I I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference one way or the other you know ten percent is it's just ten percent you know um, I sort of like to work in odd numbers I don't know why but <laughs> <laughs> why do we make it fifty nine there we go sixty one fifty five that's a good number. Five five. Oh, well, so, 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 you know, it's just it, we need to get something on paper is what right. we need to yeah. do. Okay. At least fifty percent. Right. Yeah. We could say at least, at, right? At we could say at least fifty percent. Yeah, minimum of fifty percent. I like that. At least fifty percent. And then, no matter what, we'll be set apart. Yeah, yeah. And then we could get up to like seventy. Yeah. Seventy-five. No. I'm and let's say a minimum of. Yeah. <laughs> A minimum of okay, okay. That sounds like a really nice compromise. Okay, I need somebody to make a motion to adopt our um, carbon footprint reduction goal, and it's written down here. So, would somebody make that motion for us, Andy? I a motion to adopt the carbon footprint reduction goal for Michigan City by minimum of fifty percent um, by twenty thirty. By twenty thirty. Okay, I will correct that there. Okay, who will second that? I'll second that. Um, thank you, Nikki, for seconding that. Okay, every, everybody in favor, please raise your right hand and say um, A. Aye. 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 Okay, great. Passes unanimously. Thank you all very much. Okay, and then this is a, the acceptance of a sustainability slash climate action plan for 2020 into 2030. So um, Andy and I gave the presentation at the uh, Michigan City Common Council meeting last Tuesday, and it really gave me the opportunity to pull together everything that we've done, you know, since we started the commission. So I was able to take that document, go back over our minutes, and pick up all of the programs that we have already voted on okay so there's nothing new in this document and I sent it out to all of you at least two times once last week and then again this week so um, this is all old business but it's been reformatted so that we can look at it very easily and see exactly what we've done and be aware of where we're going um, with, with each of our projects okay so did anybody have any questions or um, comments uh, about the document it's a really nice setup easy to read thank you right thank you you're, you're welcome and I was uh, at the City Council meeting and enjoyed the presentation that Nancy and um, Andy did. It was really good. The, the council received it well. The people that were present received it very well. And um, I'm really proud of their... So, uh, in fact, uh, last... Oh, it was April 5th, and that was one of their longest meetings. <coughs> Thank God they let us go early. <laughs> and, uh, and at the end, Councilman... Um, Don Popolinski even gave us a, some more accolades as to the Sustainability Commission in Michigan City really working hard to get our uh, community 
uh, cleaned up and uh, get our environment um, better. Yeah, and I want you all to know, you know you're doing a really right. amazingly awesome job when you get applaud during a presentation in the city council chambers, okay? That just doesn't happen, okay? So, you know, I hope all of you realize um, how significantly you have contributed to this and how you will be contributing to this in the future. Okay, so um, no questions, no comments. Now, like you said, we received it already. Okay, great. Okay, so I, I need somebody to make a motion that we adopt the sustainability climate action plan for 2020 to 2030. Who would like to make that motion? I make the motion that we adopt the sustainability climate action plan for 2020 to 2030. Okay, who will second? Daisy, thank you. Um, Nikki, thank you for making the motion. And Daisy, thank you for seconding that. Um, all in favor, please raise your right hand and say aye. 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 Okay, passes unanimously. Thank you very much. We are now legitimate. So that's great. Um, Okay, this next thing is to consider an opportunity to uh, submit an expression of interest. An expression of interest is the same as a letter of intent, and we've done this before um, when other organizations have come to us with projects that we could be participating with them in. Um, our friend Daniel Pointer, who's the executive director of Carbon Neutral Indiana, found an opportunity that he thought matched perfectly with Michigan City and um, his nonprofit organization. Um, we actually would be able to, um, well, after the letter of intent has been submitted, um, we'll find out the end of May um, if we were to be one of the communities that was selected. And at that point in time, we'd be invited to submit a formal grant. And it's for $1 million. And this money is to be used to reach out to underserved communities. And I know it's been a, not only a dream of ours, but a commitment of ours to be sure that solar and carbon reduction is totally accessible and available to every single person that lives within our community. Individuals, families, households, that's our commitment. So. Um, if we're chosen to actually, you know, submit a grant, then um, we would be one of two communities selected nationwide. And I think we're doing really great. We were one of two that got um, Soul Smart <laughs> this year. Um, we were one of two that were selected to take part in the um, National Renewable Energy Laboratory. So I'm saying trifecta, hey, <laughs> one of two. So um, I want, I, you know, I would like to talk about this. Um, Daniel would be our partner. We would not be doing this alone. Um, certainly a lot of the organizations would be enrolled to be doing this with us in Michigan City. And that's the only way projects like this actually work and become successful. So I don't want you to be afraid that we're taking on a commitment to $1 million and we're gonna be doing that by ourselves because that's not the case. A couple of things Daniel outlined is, um, you know, his um, Carbon Neutral Indiana um, subscription service. We could actually um, enroll households that they'd be able to do that with us and they'd be able to ha proudly display the sign in their front yards. Um, also um, he has the vision of actually installing solar panels on on, on the homes of um, individuals that aren't able to do that. And we may even be able to pick out um, a nonprofit um, that's struggling and we may be able to install um, solar panels on, on their building, okay? So those are some of the things that he was thinking about. And um, I think he's right in line with many of the things we've talked about already. Okay, so um, questions about that, um, comments? So we would, ha uh, if we get this, we would have to set up the budget and everything, and no. Nope, Daniel. Oh, excellent. Daniel would be doing that. <laughs> so what would we actually be doing? Just uh, well, 
like we've done um, already, we're engaging with the people in the community. And I think a very excellent example of that is um, Soul Power. Oh. Yeah, okay. NAACP was involved with that. Um, Work One, um, right. International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Ivy Tech. So we'd be bringing together a team, a team. here in Michigan City that actually would be um, working on the project. Oh, okay. Okay. And of course, you know, any of us that are interested in being involved with it, you know, by all means, you know, we would have opportunities um, to be involved. You know, Daisy, I think about your students, you know, over at Barker Middle School. What better way to learn than hands-on, a hands-on opportunity, mm -hmm. you know, to be able to bring these sorts of things um, to people within, within, our, within our community. Okay, any other questions? Would the money um, go into Carbon Neutral Indiana's account or the Sustainability Commission account? It's going to go into Carbon Neutral's account, yeah. They're a nonprofit, so they have everything set up that they need to already. Um, government entities are not able to apply for this, but the nonprofit needs a government to be able to do the project. <laughs> So, so that's that's where we come in, and um, we have we have a goal now. That's one thing we needed. Mm -hmm. We need an action plan, right? Which we have. So that's why Daniel thought of us. He realized yeah. everything we've been doing already. You know, yeah, we're halfway there. Absolutely, we are. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Okay, this is a letter of intent, you know, and even if they come back to us and say, you've been invited to submit a formal grant, we don't have to do that, okay? We don't have to. We're not making a commitment at this moment in time, but we're just making it possible to send in that um, letter of interest. That's what I usually call them. Okay? Everybody's head's going up and down. Okay. Yes. So would somebody like to make a motion um, that we'd be able to um, submit an expression of interest? A motion to submit expression of interest. For what? For the... What words do I want? Sorry. <laughs> For the carbon neutral grant. Did I pick the right words? We don't actually have a name. Oh, here it is. It's the um, Google and ICLEI Local Governments for Sustainability USA grant. Do you see it right there? Motion to submit expression of interest to the Google and ICLEI Local Governments for Sustainability grant. Thank you. Would somebody second that? I second. Andy, thank you. Um, all in favor, raise your hand and say aye. 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 Okay, great. Um, thank you very much. Daniel's going to be very ecstatic that we're interested in working with him on this. Okay, um, let me see. This is a formal representation on the Northwest Indiana Regional Planning Commission. Um, they have a, what's called an Environmental Management Policy Committee. I've been going to just about all of these meetings um, for the past year. Um, because this is where um, Kathy Sipple um, enrolled the three counties and 12 municipalities that completed their um, carbon emissions inventory. Okay, so um, Mike Cuz has been the representative on that um, particular um, committee, but he no longer works for city government. So um, Kathy approached me and said, would somebody from the Sustainability Commission be interested in, you know, filling his place? So, um... So they're not going to try to get some money from the sanitation department? No. So are you interested in doing that? I'm interested in doing it. Like I said, I've been going to the meetings already, so, yeah. So can we just nominate you? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Well, I, <laughs> works. <laughs> I nominate Nancy to um, formally represent North, uh, formally 
um, be the representation for Michigan City for the Northwest Indiana Regional Planning Commission, NERPSI, Environmental Management Policy Committee, as a member. I second that motion. Okay, um, Faye, thank you for making the motion. Um, Nikki, thank you for seconding that. Um, I will recuse myself and I will not vote. Okay. Okay, so all in favor say aye and raise your right hand. Aye. aye. Okay, um, thank you very much. And then my next question is, is there somebody here who would be willing to act as my backup if I'm not able to attend any of these meetings? And these meetings are held when? They're during the day, aren't they? Yeah, they are during the day. And what day of the week? I knew you were going to ask that. <laughs> <laughs> they meet every quarter. Oh, quarter. They meet every quarter and, um, okay. That would be as hard to... Okay, it would be the first Thursday of the month and they're at 9, they're at 9 a.m. And usually they're an hour and sometimes they may run for two hours. And uh, they, they meet every quarter. And sometimes they may call a special meeting if there's something they you know need to consider and vote on, but um, I don't remember that ever happening. And it's something you can think about. We don't have to decide that today, okay? So um, let's table that for now, okay? So we'll table the alternate rep, okay? Because we have some people that aren't here today too, okay? Okay, um, thank you all very much. Um, I'm honored and humbled to represent you um, at NERPSI's Environmental Policy Committee. Okay, Solar United Neighbors, um, I'm just going to have to say these numbers again. Dan sent me the stats very late. <laughs> My report is due just a day before he sends the stats. And I'll have to say just eyeballing them, it doesn't look like they're all that different from what we have here. We had 61 interested individuals sign up for the free cooperative last year that was 53. So we were able to increase that number. Um, we have 17 people from Michigan City and this number exploded this time. Um, we had maybe um, a couple, I think last year, um, maybe up to three or something like that. But this is about triple what we had last year. Um, they've completed the um, review and the solar installer visit on 30 of those. Um, one site is still scheduled for a visit. Proposals were submitted to nine. This means nine people received a formal um, evaluation and plan for their home or small business. We actually had a small business do it this year also. Um, six were disqualified by the installer. For some reason, the installer just didn't feel they were going to be able to do it for whatever the reason. Maybe the electrical panel wasn't good or the roof needs to be repaired or replaced or you know something like that. Opportunity was lost on six. Um, I think this would be a follow-through issue. Um, they already have signed contracts on eight. Last year there were six signed contracts and you see the number that are still out there. So this number could be increasing um, significantly. And then canceled contract one person. And I ran into um, Dan Robinson on Saturday at the um, Solar Symposium at Valparaiso University and plans are in the making for round three. Oh great, because people have been asking me now. Yes, of course. <laughs> I know, I've had at least a half a dozen inquiries since yes. February 28th. Yeah. So, um, and it was important to get this in quickly because on July 31st things change with the net metering. Right, with the with, net metering. Yeah, it's more or less canceled in Indiana, but um, we continue to go back to the legislature every year to try right. to get a reversal on that. And a lot of people don't do it for that net metering perk anyhow. Right. They do it to save money save on money. their electric and bill and they do it to lower their um, carbon footprint. That's why mm -hmm. people do it. Yeah. So, Okay, so that's an update on that. All good news. Um, and then, um, let me see, Indiana University Resilience Cohort for Soul Smart designation. Um, well, we know we got the silver designation. I brought the plaque, so we want to get a picture of everybody before we leave today with that. 
You gotta warn us when you want to take pictures. I did. I did. It was in the email. Oh, I missed it. It was in the email. It was at the bottom. I, I barely noticed it. I double checked, I and I'm like, uh oh, I better put on some I makeup. Warned, I warned everybody. <laughs> I did. So anyhow, congratulations, everybody. This is this is really this is a big deal. It really is. I missed that. Okay. Faye, you look beautiful. Oh, if I may, Nancy, I want to thank you and Tristan, especially for all of your hard work to do that and all of the, just all the legwork that you did. You did all the paperwork, you filled all the stuff out, you made all the phone calls. I know we work as a team, but you and Tristan really and I tell need you, I tell you what, a if, big shout out. If Laura Henderson wasn't there, we would not be done. And you know, Laura, I tried to give her a shout out and she yeah. said, no, no, we, it's all Nancy. You know, of course, no. everybody's so humble here. No. But anyway, Nancy, everybody and did Laura, this. Chris and Laura, and Chris, you guys rock. Thank you. Yeah, and I'm not kidding. If it wasn't for Laura, it would not be done, <coughs> really. She and, stayed on it. And I, yeah, she stayed she on it. On yeah, it. and she, she, she attended all those meetings. And she made sure the deadlines were being met, and she made sure that we had the information that we needed to be able to submit everything we needed to submit. So, Laura, as humble as she is, she played a very major role in this. So, thank you, Laura. <laughs> okay, um, the U.S. Department of Energy National Renewable Energy Lab. I'm not going to go into detail on this because we all know it's about putting the um, solar panels in Washington Park Beach and Zoo so that we'll be able to have electric vehicle charging stations there. And then also um, Dahlia Zigas, our city councilwoman, and Tristan also, they want to have the workstations there so you can charge your computers and your, um, you know, your phone and other electronic devices mm -hmm. so um, hopefully that's going to be a part of it too we have our next consultation meeting this coming Thursday with um, Scott um, from um, the um, National Renewable Energy Lab okay so we got our homework done for that at least um, carbon neutral Indiana let me see um, we're gonna have a table Okay. I received the materials in the mail yesterday. Great. And, oh, great. and I have the signs to hang on your table or put wherever you want them, okay? So I'll bring those on Saturday for you to have. And then I, I wanted to invite all of the um, student commissioners, you know, to hang out with you that day um, if, they're, if they're available and, and would like to do that. I think it would be a great opportunity. So, um, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. great. Okay, so um, look up Carbon Neutral Indiana um, on on the web um, before Saturday, so you have a little bit of a background information on it and stuff. Okay, okay, awesome. Thank you, thank Daisy. Thank you so much for doing that. Okay, um, setting regional sustainability climate goals and actions. What is this? Oh, okay. Uh, this is um, the regional effort that NERPC is doing, and um, we have the three counties, um, the 12 municipalities that completed it this past summer, and then we add to that Gary and Michigan City, who already did their um, carbon, um, their um, greenhouse gas emissions inventory will be joining together to set up some goals and actions for the whole region to um, reduce um, our carbon footprint as Northwest Indiana. <coughs> okay, so um, I volunteered to be on that task force <coughs> and um, I'll just keep you updated with that. Okay, if anybody's interested in that, let me know. Um, that's going to be um, that's going to be meeting every other month until the end of the year. Okay, and that's going to be on Thursday afternoons. Okay. Um, okay. Ah, my favorite part of the program. I just like to see this. Nancy. Caught you being green. green. Andy, take it away. I feel like I need to learn that song that Kermit sings about it's not easy being green <laughs> and sing it or something. No, I'm joking. It's a joke. <laughs> anyway, so business. Um, I don't have much in the way of articles. I did notice a couple of businesses recently with some great packaging, though. Yay. I'll put those out soon. Um, really focused on the Earth Month extravaganza so most of all of it is 
set. We've got flyers, and I'll hand some of those out. Um, Daisy just added on for carbon neutral, so that'll be awesome. And um, I think there's not too many updates that you can't check on the Facebook page or whatnot. Um, it is April 23rd from noon to 3. We have a live animal show at 1. Mm -hmm. Lots of education. There'll be trees, free trees. The tree board's giving those away. Um, yeah, so come and have some fun. Okay, and um, a press release went out today. Yes, Nancy did that. Thank you. You're welcome. And mm -hmm. um, let me see. We have over 20 organizations and agencies that are going to be there over right. 20. This is unbelievable, Andy. This is, yeah. this is, this is like, this is like big city. Oh, come scale. on now. No, it's, <laughs> it, no, it's big city. The room will be full, but. It's, it's big city scale. It really is to have 20 organizations and agencies that are going to be there. Yes. So really, I just want to invite, invite everybody here in Michigan City to come. Um, it's all ages, you know, um, individuals, children, grandparents, parents, great-grandparents. It's it's an event for everybody. Did we mention so, it was free? Yeah, I think you did, but... Okay, it's just, just free. Get, free. Free, free, <laughs> free, 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 free. At the library. <laughs> At the, the library. library. All ages. Right? And there's going to be takeaways too. Um, organizations are going to be giving out things. Um, I'll be sitting at the Save the Dunes table and we'll be handing out our um, pollinator garden guide. Mm. It's a beautiful um, booklet um, and um, it's, it's, going to be, it's going to be so much fun. So I hope everybody comes out and celebrates um, Earth Month with us. So, okay. Okay, great. And Andy, you've just done a marvelous job with Thank that. You. I, I never could have gotten them any organizations. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. You just annoyed them until they said yes. Well, no, that's how to get things done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, this last item is an invitation, and this is um, from Just Transition Northwest Indiana. Is there anybody here from the group <coughs> that would like to make this announcement today? Is there anybody? No? Okay. Then I'll just read what was sent to me. Um, just Transition Northwest Indiana is hosting a community conversation event to come together to engage in their campaign and take action to, quote, protect Lake Michigan and Trail Creek, unquote, on Saturday, April 16th from 1 to 3 p.m. Central Time at the Michigan City Public Library. Hey, that's a place to This be. is a free, 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 family friendly event with food <laughs> by Chef Eric. Oh, oh, oh Chef Eric. Hey. To know. Oh, okay. And refreshments. And you must register at Eventbrite so they can prepare for how many lunches oh. they need, okay? And um, you can go either on their Facebook page to do that or they also have a website that you can register there too. Okay? Okay, great. We have a lot of stuff going on this month. Earth Month, Earth Month. Okay, um, Commission comments. Does anybody here, would anybody here like to um, make a comment or share share information about anything? I, I want to make a comment, I guess. Um, I just want to recognize you all and anybody out there who has actually did anything to help bring about um, resiliency and sustainability to Michigan City and Northwest Indiana. It is April. It is volunteer month. This is a volunteer committee. So thank you all. Thank the people out there who join these freer, cheaper than gas events that are actually around in the city. Um, you know, that means a lot to the goals that we set such as today and reducing the carbon footprint around the area. So again, I just want to thank you all. Um, again, thank you as well, Nancy, for the work that you did to make sure that we received this Soul Smart Award and just add to our, um, you know, endeavors and the things that we actually do. And I just want to say to you all, keep up the good work. So thank you. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, any public comments? Uh, does anybody from the public have a comment to make? Okay, we'll skip over that. Um, announcements? One announcement here. Mm. Um, another Earth event. 
Now this one's a big one with food, and um, and you can buy things too. The Porter County is back with their Earth uh, Month event, and it is April 30th from nine to one. So when uh, we planned our event, we made sure not to do it on the same day. So you can go to Porter County and Michigan City. Um, but I do recommend you go to the Porter County. It's big, it's fun, and it is from nine to one at the Porter County Expo Center where the 4-H is in Valpo. Uh, 215 East Division Road is the um, actual site and then you can check out Recycle Porter County online for any other information. Yeah, um, I think what distinguishes that one from a lot of the um, events that happen around the community is they actually have businesses there. So you'll find businesses that are um, making countertops out of um, uh, reused granite and um, there'll be people there with solar panels. So there's a little bit of a, you know, it, all of the nonprofits right. are there. And um, then businesses also, as well. And then businesses as well. So, and they usually give something away. Oh yeah, there's prizes. There's, there's, yeah. there's mm -hmm. often music, entertainment. Mm -hmm. um, Drawings, you know, so. Um, yeah. Some of my favorite vendors are there. Yeah, yeah, they've given, yeah. They've, they've given away a bicycle um, years too. So that's a big one. Okay, um, I have an announcement. Um, this is really exciting. My dear and close friend, Jim Poiser, who's the director of, um, oh no, I just went blank. Earth Charter, Indiana. Earth Charter, Indiana. He's coming um, to the Lebesnik Center on first Friday, that's May 6th, and he's gonna be doing his Climate Follies. And a lot of people don't know this about Jim, but he is a comedian. So he's a funny guy, and it may be difficult to make fun about the climate, but he does. So um, this is a n brand new thing that he's doing, and I think he did it in Indianapolis just this past month. So um, he's going on the road and it's coming here to Michigan City. So I hope all of us um, take the time to go and see Jim and um, take part in his um, climate follies. And uh, first Friday is um, 5 p.m. to um, 8 p.m. It's a three hour spread. He's told me he planned on having two different um, performances. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what the times on those are, but if you go to the Lebesnik Center for the Arts um, Facebook page or their website, I'm sure they'll be posted. So everybody come out support Jim and then afterwards we're hopefully going to be moving on to another venue where we will continue celebrating with Jim and um, the um, Sierra Club um, Hooser chapter um, us as the Michigan City Sustainability Commission and of course Earth Charter Indiana so um, I think it's gonna be a really fun time so come on out okay um, I have been told I can just adjourn the meeting myself, so would you like me to do that? I have one more thing. I just oh, I'm sorry. That's okay, and then you can just do it, please. Um, so again, because it is April, it's volunteer month, it's Earth month, um, no, I didn't get this approved by you all, but I know it's also um, National Poetry Month, and as a poet, I just got to throw this out there for anybody who has um, any, like, Earth or solar or environmental goals that has written a poem regarding these things. If you want to tag the Michigan City Sustainability Commission to let us hear one of your poems and it's oh, really okay. good, I would be just astound and would love to send over a gift for anyone who has written a poem between now and our next meeting. Um, if you're a kid or anybody in the community who has something to say about, you know, Earth Day, again, solar, environmental issues, Daisy, if you're a kid, yeah, tell them to tag us on our Facebook page. It would be amazing just to hear um, and uplift those people. So just with that, that's it for me. <laughs> okay, so they can tag that um, MC for Michigan City yeah. Sustainability Commission, yeah. and that will be an adequate tag. Yeah. Okay, and that's the pound sign, MC Sustainability Commission. Yeah. Okay, Share great. your poems. We would love to hear them. And we'll go to them, and if you, we'll send you a gift. A Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay, so do you like to make a motion to adjourn the meeting? Oh, you said you I can do it myself, but... Yes.
just adjourn. Okay. Uh, I adjourn the meeting at 6.33 p.m. Thank you. There's your gap. I don't have a gap.